this is Shomshikha presenting before you today's bulletin. First, the COVID-19 update. The total tally of active corona cases is 7,987. From that, 856 people recovered and 308 people lost their lives. In Assam, 29 confirmed corona positive cases. From that, one people lost his life but no recovery till now. Now the national news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had a video conferencing with chief ministers of all the states on Saturday to get the present scenario of the state and to tackle the coronavirus pandemic. Prime Minister said that there seemed to be a consensus amongst the states on extension of lockdown by another two weeks. He also highlighted the importance of lockdown and social distancing. On the 21st day of lockdown imposing, the government motto was Jan hai to Jahan hai. But with the extension of lockdown, he changed it to Jan bhi Jahan bhi. With the rapid rise of corona patient, Joint Secretary in Health Ministry Love Agarwal, based on the discussion at the level of Health Minister and Home Minister, he said, Government is extra prepared against the pandemic and on the urgent basis to expand capacity for COVID-19, testing in government and private medical colleges across the country is on process. In the Home Ministry control room, officials of Civil Aviation and Consumer Affairs along with railways have been working in coordination with states to revolve logistic problem. Joint Secretary in the Home Ministry Punya Salila Srivastava said, States and Union territories have again been informed that there is no restriction on interstate and intrastate cargo transportation and they must ensure passes for employees of manufacturing units of essential commodities. Dr. Manoj Murhekar of Indian Council of Medical Research said, over 40 vaccines are under development, but none have reached the next stage, and as of now, there is a no vaccine. Meanwhile, the hydrochloroquine is approved to release to 13 countries after an assessment of stocks. Minister for Human Resource Development Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank has launched a web portal Yukti that is Young India Combating COVID with Knowledge and Technology and Innovation in New Delhi to record the efforts and initiative taken by each other minister. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his monkey bath on 26th of April. If anyone have innovative ideas and suggestions to directly share with PM, then dial 1-800-117800 to record your suggestion or write on MyGoft or Namo app. The first corona patient of Northeast region is recovered and got discharged. She was an abroad student who is a resident of Manipur. But before her discharge, all the tests and checkup were done and Dr. L. Tumche Khaman advised her to stay at home quarantine for 14 days and also prescribed the do's and don'ts during the sensitive period. On Sunday, a one-hour meeting of Council of Minister of Assam, which was chaired by Chief Minister Sarvananda Sanwal, decided that the Assam government would not take any decision on lockdown and go by whatever direction is issued by the center. Now the regional news. District administration of Kacha has prohibited all kinds of social gatherings in the district till 15th of April due to the pandemic of coronavirus. Encircling of Bihu, Pailavashak, Baisakhi, Easter, government created a ban on social gathering. 
the order which came into force with immediate effect mentioned that anybody violating the order it will be liable action to be taken against him or her under 34M and 51B of Disaster Management Act 2005 and also under relevant section of IPC. From Monday onwards, that is from 13th of April, Tea Garden R to start operation in Katha, said District Administration on Sunday, under the order from Central and State Government. Retired Assistant Executive Engineer of ASCB, Mr. Digbija Dutta and Section Officer of Assam University, Nirmal Dutta, handed a sum amount of rupees 11,000 to PM Care Fund on behalf of Shukanta Sharani Development Committee of Haila Kandido Silcha to the Member of Parliament, Dr. Razdeep Rai, on Sunday. Assam Health and Finance Minister Dr. Himanta Vishwa Sharma appealed to the government employees to take the responsibility of helping five families each in neighborhood during the lockdown period. By following his words and urge to help poor MPHC Shal Chapra in charge Dr. Chirasri Dev and teacher of Kendriya Vidyalaya of Bangalore, Lipika Choudhury Dutta, Together, Lee forwarded helping hands towards the 30 poor families living in Sukanta Sharani and Mahavrata Sarani of Silcha Hailakandi Road. They distributed food materials like 5 kg of rice, 1 kg dal, along with vegetables, oil, biscuits, and swabin to the needy people. Lipika Chaudhuri Dutta said in that context that by keeping one meter distance and following health issue as directed by government, we distributed the food materials to the needy people at our residence in Silcha Hailakande Road. She added that being a government employee, it is our duty to help and stand beside the poor or needy people in the distress of COVID-19. That's all for today's bulletin. Please stay at home and take care. Thank you.